Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I don't know what day it's going to be. So in my videos, I'm not going to be saying the days because I started recording a few days ahead. I will put the days on my titles, but not within my videos. because I don't know how I want to organize my videos just yet. But today is Saturday. And I don't know what I'm going to be doing today. I plan to do a couple of videos. I do have a story time that I want to share as well. I need to wash some clothes, so I will let you all see me do that. I wanted to wash my face and do like a little skincare type thing. So if I do that, I'll bring you back and let you see. So I'm going to go ahead and do some type of skincare, y'all. Take my little towel, throw it across me like that. And let's get into washing this face. I've kind of shown my products before, but this is my Cetaphil facial cleanser. Oh, wet my face a little bit. And I have for the aesthetic very good. I have these. I just have these one. And I got them. Yeah. I have these. I also have a headband that I do wear often. So y'all see that. But if you have girls, especially girls that's into like self-care, you know, smelling good, all that, moms, they come and they grade stuff. And I mean, I buy them their own stuff. Like they have their own bath and body works, everything, lotions, perfumes, whatever they want, they got it. But every still make her way in here and use my stuff. The real expensive stuff too. She don't just want them. Mm -mm. She's. I got a whole thing over here with Bath and Body Works stuff on it, which I may show is a little junky up here. She won't mess with that stuff. But my Valentino perfume, my Miss Dior, my Chloe, all that stuff. She want that. She want the good stuff. And because she likes the good stuff, you know, Santa may have something. Good on his sleigh. We don't know. We don't know what he's gonna bring. Use a little bit of this mouth wash, and this is mine. Only I use this. So these before. Guess I get. I love these. The most the gold ones. So let's put those on. And let them sit for a little bit. You know what? I kind of got to go to the bathroom. Let me do that before I put that on. Let me put these on. You love me, baby. Alrighty. Got this one. Last time I had these on, I realized I had one end flipped the wrong way, but it don't matter because they still do what they are supposed to do. But the slim, the smallest end should go back. What was that noise? I think that's my furnace coming on. Anyway, if I Got those on, let them sit for about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. And then I can um, moisturize, look at my closet. We need to organize my closet, but <laughs> not today. But yeah, I was gonna do this story time on, because you know, and I talked about it before, 
I'm trying to get back on the dating scene. It's very weird to me. I have not been on the dating scene in like 18 years. And I don't really want to get into like what happened, why I haven't been dating, where I've been at. I was in a long-term relationship. Yep, that long. Um, I don't really like to talk about him and our relationship and what happened. But we, uh, it's been about a year since I've been single, a little over a year. Him and I co-parent good, so I don't want to talk about him on YouTube, but it's a lot to unpack there. But anyway, I call myself trying to date y'all, and I was like, you know what, let's get on to this speed dating event, so, and this is probably, I don't know, it was in the summer, so earlier this, probably May or something, Meetup has, and I was like, you know, this is the way to get my feet back. I get, get my feet wet, I guess, as they say, because I have not done this since I was, what, 21 years old in college. So, like, 2005 or something like this. Like, we're talking a very long time. And things are different now. You know, back then, you know, I was meeting people at my college and stuff like that. Him, my kids, that I actually met him through my stepsister. So... I've always either met somebody through school or a friend of a friend. I haven't really dated that much, so I'm going to say I would. One person in high school I used to talk to, but not, you know, date. I mean, you in high school. And then a guy in college that I met, and then my kid's dad, and I stayed with him for like 18 years. So this is very scary for me. It's kind of like, eh, I don't want to do it, but I feel like, I won't say I don't want to do it. I do think people think I should be doing it more than I think I should be doing it. But I kind of don't want to waste the, the rest of my good years away. It just feel weird and awkward for me. So anyway, Meetup, which is if you don't know about Meetup, it's like a social media platform where... People can meet for different things. Like they have different events. You might you can meet up um, just for friends. Um, if you want to do a cooking class, just whatever your interests are. Basically, they have different groups and they schedule meetups for different things. So they have a virtual dating thing, a virtual dating meetup, and it's like every week. And I thought because the event said you know, local in my area. So I'm like, okay, it's going to people be people that's local here. Oh, excuse me, y'all. No, that's not how it works. So with Meetup, you you may be in there with people from other countries. like, Or it could be, because when I went on there, it was several people in, like, Canada. But um, they could be in different states all over the U.S. as well, as well as outside of the country. But anyway, so I joined this event thinking, okay, it's virtual. It's online. I'm just get on there. I might talk to some people. And we just going to see them, whatever. <sighs> yeah, so the thing is you get three dates, supposedly. And each date was supposed to be like five minutes long, I think. Then at the end of it, <clears throat> you kind of report back, um, and let them know, hey, I really like this person. I'm interested in, you know, talking further to them. It's okay to pass them my information. And it's kind of like, okay, if you and that person felt the same way, then they will pass on your information for you all to communicate outside of the meet. Now, when I signed out up, there, it was not like with the dating apps where you can choose, you say, um... You know, you give them, like, a, your biography, tell something about yourself. Like, basically, I think when I signed up for this thing, I put, <clears throat> like, who I was interested in dating, which was me. Of course, I put my age and, you know, my location. I think that was it. I don't think they asked too much of anything else. So, I'm like, well, how are they going to match us with these people? Because, you know. Because I thought they were going to match you based on your interests. Uh, apparently not. That's not what they do. So I hop onto this thing. 
you know, I get myself together, put on a little bit of makeup. You know, lip gloss, not too much because it is virtual through my wig on, y'all. Had my wig thrown on. It was after work one day. It was like 7.30 when the event was. So, okay. I'm getting a little excited. Get on there. Check out the people in the room. It was like three or four different rooms. So, I kind of hopped around just logging into each room and just seeing what the people looked like. And I already knew it wasn't nobody on there that I thought was attractive. But I'm like, hey. We're going to commit. We're going to follow through. We're going to do this thing, right? So, my first date was this old man, y'all. This man was old. He was, like, probably 70-something. I don't know. He, maybe he wasn't 70-something, but he definitely looked. And I'm like, why would they match me with this man? He was a Caucasian guy, a very old, a very gray hairish, and I'm on there. I'm like, okay, Kim, you know, because and they have this rule too. So if you, um, it's certain things you can't do because you would get yourself banned and then you can't participate any longer. So I think if you just like hop out of the room or whatever, you can get blocked from coming back in like they want you to actually you know follow through with the dates whatever because it's virtual it's just a five minute date or whatever so i can't remember exactly what all, all the rules were but i know they had certain things that will get you blocked so i was like okay this just number one i got two more let me just stay on and you know see what it's about so i try to be nice to him i was saying like hello how are you you know, trying to talk to him. This man didn't never look up at the camera. He had his head down. So I was like, is he okay? Like, is he purposely doing this? Because maybe he saw who I was. I'm like, okay, I am a black female. You know, he's an older white male. Maybe he's just not interested. But like me, he doesn't want to just, like, log off because he doesn't want to get banned. And he still has, you know, more dates or whatever. So I tried a couple more times and then I was like, you know what, done. So I clicked out, went back to the room. When I got back to the room, it was another guy saying that with his date, the lady, he was trying to talk to her and the lady wasn't responding. So we were like, well, maybe it was a tech issue, you know, I don't know. So then I get pulled into the second date because like you're automatically like pulled out of the large group and thrown into like the breakout rooms on your second date. The second date was a black man. And, you know, when I looked at this person, they look a little bit different to me. But I was like, eh, mm, look normal enough to where I could have a conversation. I already knew, like I said, I probably wasn't, I wasn't interested in the person. I wasn't attracted to this person. But I was like, okay, I'm here. I'm going to commit. You know, maybe it gets better because this person is decent enough you know which i thought you know cool let's just talk the person starts talking i'm like the voice is like mm, okay not too too not manly manly small bill but you know a, a black guy so i was like okay we can talk this person starts telling me all this stuff about themselves and you know uh, they, they were in New York, and I was like, okay, good. We, I'm in South Carolina, so I know that's a no-go anyway. Um, and then, you know, told me their age, stuff like that. And they were, they were like, well, what about you? And I said, well, you know, I'm 40. I'm from South Carolina, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then this person was like, well, you had asked me too many questions like that. Like I said, they told me some things about themselves, but... You know, like their age and stuff like that, basically the same stuff as me. And I was like, well, tell me a little bit more about yourself. Because it's like they were pressing it. Like they really wanted me to ask some questions. And I was just like, I mean, I know I ain't interested, so I'm not getting that deep, right? This person goes on to say, um, I'm transgender. I want to be upfront about it. I'm transgender. And I was like, I look around like, 
what he she I think he because he was male presenting so I'll say he said that he was transgender so I was like I really didn't know what to say again y'all back to the rules I'm like okay I don't want to be rude clicker I really didn't know what to do at that point because I'm like I'm trying to follow the rules I knew I was not interested because I clearly put that I was a woman seeking a man and I guess technically because that person is transgender they consider themselves to be men and no shade no tea on nobody but I just feel like yeah the person was up front but that person shouldn't have been connected with me that person should connect with someone else that has specified that that is okay. Like, that should be a category for people to specify things like that. Because this is the 21st century. There shouldn't just be male sick and woman, woman sick and male. They need to make a special category for them. Because then you get somebody like me that is seeking a man. I have no interest at all in a transgender, you know. But they are there are people who may be interested so they should have a category and not you know because i was shocked and thrown out to the point that i just was i just sat there i didn't know what to say and they were like oh okay like that's cool and i was like i didn't even respond and i'm like oh gosh should i click off like the person was nice to me but i'm like this is not what i want and then they go on to say, not seeing that I was shocked and not saying that, go on and say, yeah, I had my top surgery, such and such, such, such. and this saying all this stuff, y'all. I clicked out of that thing so fast. I got out of the dating thing completely because, first of all, that was TMI. What you do is what you do. You don't have to tell me all that, okay? That was a little bit too much to say that. This is a five-minute speed date. You literally just met me. And I'm all for somebody being honest and upfront, but that was a little bit too much, especially for me. And I was not interested in hearing it. I clicked off of that thing. I snatched that wig out so fast. And y'all, I ain't never been back again. Never. I just can't do it. So, y'all, when I say I'm a little bit scared about dating, I'm a lot of bit scared about that, you know, okay? Because you just do not know what you're going to get. And like I said, everybody has this, their preferences, and that is okay. I have mine as well, and that was not one of them. So that was my little speed dating story time, y'all. So I won't, it's safe to say, I won't be doing that again. So. I'm about to, um, I think I had these on maybe about 14 minutes now. I don't know. I might keep them on a few more minutes and then I'll come back and let you guys see me finish up my, um, my skincare routine. I'm about to spray on this sweet cherry perfume I got from Five Below. I was calling this a dupe for the Time for a Lost Cherry and somebody said, it wasn't. It was a dupe for something else. I don't know. I can't remember what they said in the comments, but I don't know. All I know is this smells good. You can get it from Five Below. They have so many perfume options. And I will say it doesn't last all day. This scent wears off fairly quickly. You can mix it with something else. I have lots of different perfumes I could mix it with. Or you can mix it with a little body spray as well. I did put on this lotion. It has peach in it. It is the Jasmine Peach. The scent on that isn't that strong either, but this is the Bath and Body where it's pretty as a peach. You can mix that in too, just to take it up a notch. Or like I said, I have several perfumes as well I can mix with it but anyway I'm going to show you guys how I moisturize my skin I really need to clean up up here y'all it's like making me mad I started using this vitamin C serum I got this from five below as well so I just take a little bit in my hands and just 
Yeah, it's not um, oily. So that was just a little dropper of that. And it's supposed to like tone even out your skin tone and stuff. So I've been using it about mm, two months. Haven't really noticed a difference in my skin. I mean, my skin has been looking pretty smooth, but it's always been like that. Then I go in with this face cream from Bath & Body Works. It's pretty cool. I like it. I've been using this for about two months as well. Get a little scoop like that on my finger. And that serum, it has dried into my skin just that fast. So your face won't be wet or anything. I mean, just go behind it with this. It has a little scent too. It smells pretty good. Not anything strong. This I showed before in my Clarins um, an eye cream. So this is supposed to be like total eye lift to help with puffiness and everything to tighten that skin. Y'all, yeah, my eyes are baggy all the time. I don't know. I haven't noticed a difference in it. This was some expensive stuff. Like I said last time, this was about $100 but I have had it for quite a while because you only need a little tiny bit. So it's gonna last you a long time. So I guess it's worth the money. Like I said, I haven't noticed anything different with my eyes. I kind of want to have surgery on them to have this little puffy dish removed. We shall see. I just split that little tiny amount between both of my eyes and just Smooth it in. Like that. And that is it. So, again, this was everything that I use. I'm going to try to hold them all up. And then my face wash so i do hope you all enjoyed this story time and my skincare routine i do thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe keep coming back for more i will see you in the next video